Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. My name is Julia Aurelia and I'm here to do your card reading for the month of December. And what I'm going to do today is again a very special uh, way of reading the cards that is from my country, from Germany. So I'm going to have, I'm going to lay out the Lenormand for you today. So this is a method, like I already said, that is mostly known in France and Germany. So everybody in Germany um, reads cards with the Lenormand and it's 36 cards where we can have a look into every area of your life so let's see what the energies are around you for the month of december i'm gonna lay out all 36 cards so what are the energies for capricorn sun and rising venus what are the energies for capricorn sun moon rising venus So there is, there are a few things I need to say. Um, as in the Lenormand, there are always two cards that are personal cards. So there is the gentleman and the lady. And we can see the gentleman here already at the beginning. So I always use this card as the person you're dealing with or a person that you're dealing with in for you the month of December, uh, no matter of their gender. Now, the person or the card that is you is the lady, no matter of your gender. So let's see where you are and what energies are surrounding you. There are also different ways to interpret the cards, which basically means that I will sometimes refer to what I'm doing, basically. Um, there is the mirroring, the knighting. Oh, there is you. Hello. Mm, and you are in a very interesting placement. I'm going to get to this in a second. Um, so if when I start to interpreting the cards, I'm going to sound a little bit like an astrologer who is going to be like Neptune conjuncting with Mars in the seventh house. And you're like, what? I don't understand what this person wants to tell me. So um, just listen to the main messages that come through with the Lenormand if you are new to the Lenormand. All right. Because it could be potentially a little bit confusing. Wow, okay. Right, let's dive into your reading. So, what I already said was that this is your card. So, you are in a very interesting house in December, which means you are in a very interesting placement here. You are very much focused on something that you really love. Now, that could now be love in general, it could be the love that you have for a certain situation. Um, let's dive a bit deeper into that. Where is the heart? We see the heart down here. So if this is about a love relationship, I see that there is more stability coming into your love life. And that's obviously something really beautiful. Um, it could also relate to your business as the heart is in the house of the anchor. And the anchor is one of the main cards in the deck signifying uh, work and stability. So either there will be new stability in your love life or you are focused on your work that you will really love. Um, further, uh, furthermore, I have something that is nagging on you here. We have the mouse next to you. So yeah, and it feels like with the mouse here, with the uh, tower here, which is by the way, a different meaning to the tower from the tarot, and the dog here, if this connects to your, um, to your work life, there is a good chance that you are self-employed here or that you're working alone or independently. And it seems like there's something connected that is nagging on you where you might feel losing something here. Um, you might be afraid of losing, uh, with the dog being here, support. 
um, or something is nagging on you related to you being self-employed or you being independent or working alone where you're lacking support. Maybe because you are working alone and you're doing everything on your own here. And that is something I can see here, especially with those two cards next to each other, the work energy and the tower is working alone. It's, it's very close to you. So I feel like most of you will, like I said, work alone. Um, there is also a little bit of stress and nervousness. We have the birds here. Now, what I can see, and this is now very interesting, that we connect the birds to a few other cards here, because uh, this is the house of the birds and there's a message coming in or some visitor coming in and that's the other person. And I can see this also because in the house of the other person, now this is where I do astrology talk basically, where uh, if you are new to the Lenormand, just basically listen to the messages, there will be um, a message coming in from the other person or uh, a visit coming in from the other person. And I feel like there is a specific distance between you and the other person. So maybe someone is coming from afar. Um, that is kind of like connected to you being stressing a bit out here because I also feel like this person um, here might be someone with the scythe next to it where um, where there is something that has been cut short um, there could be a message coming in from that person to let go and end something because something seems to be quite difficult here and the difficulty again is in the house of the ship so the difficulty could talk about that there's too much of a distance here between you guys uh, and something needs to end um, especially if this is now connected to love um, which might relate to oh this we can't like for, we can't be like that uh, we need to move closer together because like i said there is new stability in your love life so coming back to the aspect that this whole reading could be about love for you um i feel like there is this message coming in from the other person that you need to end something which is basically part of a big chance for you and the chance is in the house of the house and the house we see it here as well so the person is coming into your house so i feel like for a lot of you guys this is about um stability in a love relationship because there's a new phase in love and this new phase is connected to moving in together here because there's too much of a dis distance and um, maybe a long long distance relationship and this is just not working but this is also connected to a bit of stress i feel like or it could be nervousness is interestingly the energy of nervousness which is what the birds uh, stand for is also excitement so maybe you're not so much stressed out about that but maybe you're very excited that this person is now coming towards you and is like ah oh, we need to move closer together uh, we need to come together here yeah, so that's a really beautiful thing and i also feel like emotionally you're gonna feel like very much secure with the uh, key being here in that position as well so yeah like i said for some of you there could be something happening with with your uh, business i want to go a little bit more into the love situation that i see here and then make a little slide into work as well to give you a few messages about work as well as those two topics seem to really stick out here um what I do see here as well is you are mirrored onto the tree. So there's something really changing for you um, when it comes to long term plans, when it comes to settling down and um, creating stability. Basically, I feel like you're going to feel more stable and secure. Um, also, I feel like there is a lot of trust where maybe there was something a bit unclear with this person. Maybe you didn't know where this whole thing is going with the other person. And now the clouds are clearing up. There is a beautiful surprise. And I do feel like there are long term plans where you it feels like also you become a little bit more stable. <laughs> yeah the beautiful surprise is here as well yes beautiful <laughs> and i feel like this beautiful surprise is something that took you quite a while so um that was there is something that was really slowly moving this change was slowly moving so i can see it here as well right there's a lot of distance between you uh, you and the other person here but for some reason i just get the energy of something is stabilizing and the two of you now coming together here i see there's a strong love uh, I do also see that there is uh, the the child next to it where I feel like, like I already said, there's a new beginning in love, which I feel like the two of you coming more 
together in order to sort out things, to clear things. Interestingly, this new beginning here is also connected to an ending, which does make sense. Um, so everything points really towards you and the other person moving closer together, coming together here. So that's really beautiful. And uh, if I now dive a little bit into your work life, um, I do feel like you do something that you really love, but there are some fears and insecurities connected to support here. Um, you might have some sort of strategy here of, uh, oh wow, and the strategies, mm, okay. It seems like even though you, there is something connected to your work life that you really love, I feel like something doesn't feel quite right at the same time. So it does feel like you are thinking about a strategy to change something and to end something, to let go of something here, which is interesting because we have that over here as well with the other person, ending one cycle uh, where there's too much distance and then moving closer together or moving together. Um, so we have a sim not, not really a similar situation, but there's a beautiful surprise here that uh, took longer, also connected to your work or more like it is a blessing. It feels like the change that you're making is like a blessing here. And you're clearing the conflict that was connected to your work where it does feel like uh, something that sh something just didn't feel right. Now, if I have a look around the cards here, which is again the work uh, energy, we see there is a decision, uh, a decision connected to a contract. Uh, so maybe there is a contract that uh, comes in like a surprise or so maybe you have a new contract or there's some sort of change within a contract um, because I feel like there is a decision and this decision is also connected to finances here. Um, here we do see the change here as well. The stalk uh, means a change, a positive change is going to be like a blessing. Um, it does feel very much like, I said it already, working alone or mm, basically being self-employed. There is a little bit of a, of a fear of losing money, but I feel like through this change, something is being adjusted. And this adjustment also leads to new money. So that's really beautiful here as well. Uh, there might be a surprise coming in in terms of money. So uh, maybe you get a little bit extra because of Christmas. That obviously could be the case here because we have the flowers. So a beautiful conversation could be here or maybe a letter with money. This is what I'm getting. It's like you're going to receive a communication or a document where you will receive um, and it's going to be connected to your work where there will be a little bit of extra money here. Um, really, really beautiful. There is also, I feel like the thing that you do on your own or the self-employment is something where you will be really valued at work. Uh, maybe you're doing something connected to teaching other people or something connected to knowledge or you are learning something um, yourself. Um, maybe there's another education that you do or a course that you want to do to improve your skills in order to uh, have a wider offer and to make more money. And I feel like there's a change in money in business in a way because like I said, something didn't feel quite right and now you're changing it up a little bit, maybe through a different contract or a different partnership or um, something is definitely changing here, but it's gonna feel like a relief. This is what I'm getting. Um, even though there are a few insecurities at first connected to. All right, this is what I got for you. I hope you resonate with the reading. If so, please leave a like, a comment or subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time. Mwah.